Welcome to the new episode of Brilliant or Bizarre series. Today we will discuss usage of ballistas mounted on top of elephants. There is historical evidence to suggest that the Khmer Empire did use ballista elephants in warfare. The Khmer Empire was a powerful Southeast Asian empire that existed from the 9th to the 15th century CE. Centered in present-day Cambodia, the Khmer Empire was known for its impressive architecture, including the world-famous Angkor Wat temple complex. At its height, the empire controlled a vast territory that included parts of modern-day Thailand, Vietnam and Laos. The Khmer Empire was a major centre of trade and culture, and its legacy can still be seen in Cambodia today. Elephants played a significant role in medieval Khmer armies. They were highly valued for their strength, durability, and ability to traverse difficult terrain. Khmer armies used elephants in a variety of roles, including as transportation for labour and as a formidable weapon of war. One of the most well-known uses of elephants in Khmer armies was as a platform for mounted warriors. Elephants were trained to charge into enemy lines, causing confusion and panic, while the warriors on their backs used spears, bows and other weapons to attack their foes. This tactic was especially effective against enemy infantry, as the height and power of the elephant provided a significant advantage. In addition to their use as a platform for warriors, Elephants were also used to transport supplies and equipment, as well as to clear paths through dense forests and jungles. This made them an essential part of any Khmer military campaign. The use of ballista elephants by the Khmer Empire is mentioned in several historical accounts, including the memoirs of Chinese diplomat Zhou Daguan, who visited the Khmer capital of Angkor in the late 13th century. Zhou Deguan described the ballista elephants as the most terrible of all weapons used by the Khmer army. The ballista is a type of crossbow that was mounted on the back of an elephant, which was then used to shoot bolts or other projectiles at enemy soldiers or fortifications. In addition to written accounts, Khmer artwork features depictions of ballista elephants, for example carvings on the walls of Bayan and other temples. These depictions show elephants with large double bow crossbows mounted on their backs, sometimes with additional armour for protection. While the ballista elephant is an evolution from the Austroasiatic crossbow, the origins of the Asian crossbow have been a topic of discussion in relation to the ballista, as similar war machines have been observed in China. Ballistas mounted on chariots with wheels can also be seen on the walls of Bayon, but the distinct Khmer characteristic of the ballista is that it was mounted on elephants. The Khmer ballista is a crossbow that is larger in size compared to the Austroasiatic crossbow. It features a more complex mechanism and is transformed into a small artillery. The ballista incorporates two bows facing each other, which are cocked at the same time using a rope that is attached to the rear bow by combining the two triggers. It seems that the ballista was not originally of Khmer origin, but was created by combining various elements of Chinese warfare equipment and mounting it on the back of a war elephant. The elephant ballista is represented in the bas relief of both Bante Shma and Bayon, with the carvings in Bayon being more intricate and showing more technical mechanisms, while the one in Bante Chma shows a certain simplification of the weapon. Soldiers in Cham uniform can be seen loading the elephant ballista in the Bayon carvings, suggesting that the Khmer ballista may have been integrated into the Angkorian army by Cham mercenaries. However, both the Bayon and Bante Chma carvings only feature the elephant ballista in a great military parade, which may suggest that it never actually made it to the battlefield for practical reasons. Nonetheless, the ballista elephant is a testament to the technological sophistication of the Khmer army and their weaponry. Overall, while there may be some debate among historians about the exact nature and extent of the Khmer Empire's use of ballista elephants, there is strong evidence to suggest that these fearsome weapons did play a role in Khmer military strategy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. We have a lot of exciting topics and ideas planned for future videos, so make sure to hit the notification bell to be the first to know when we upload new content. If you have any suggestions for future videos or feedback on this one, please let us know in the comments below. 
We love hearing from our viewers and value your input. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.